Hey guys, uh, I just want to show you how I was able to get the uh, ESP32 S3 working with the Adafruit uh, SPH0645. Excuse the voice, I am currently getting over the flu. But when I first wired up this device, uh, what was happening was all the data I was getting was unusable. It was either negative one, zero, or just no data at all. And after looking around online and combing through a few different examples from Adafruit and also from the ESP IDF uh, guide for the I2S uh, API, I realized that the pin definitions here need to be the GPIO numbers, not the digital pin names. So 43, 44, and 4 correspond to D6, D7, and uh, D3 over here. So once you switch that to the GPIO numbers, this function will work properly. Secondly, uh, I had to start throwing out the second sample that comes in. Uh, every other sample, I would get a, a value of zero. Uh, my thinking is it expects a left and right audio signal, but it's only reading a left audio signal. So the second value is garbage. So by reading it twice, I just clear out the buffer, throw out the second value, and then pass that on to this here. Uh, and that's where the voltage offset is applied. Now, uh, we can take a look at what that looks like uh, here. So when I talk, uh, you can see the uh, waveform is kind of uh, floating around zero. That's from the voltage offset. And it's pretty clean. Uh, I'm, I'm very uh, happy with the performance of this microphone. And I'm glad it was able to actually work. So hopefully you guys can skip through the troubleshooting steps and get right to working on your project. Uh, if you guys have any other problems, throw them in the comments. Maybe we can work on them together, try to get some more information about using this microphone with ESP32s. Anyway, have a great one and good luck.